day 10, everybody. Day 10, heal. Healing, and we touched on this a few sessions ago, a few practices ago about less being more. And in this case, we're gonna be doing a lot less or seemingly in the mind a lot less. We're gonna be laying down the entire practice and we're still going to get effective work in we're still going to get good strong a good strong practice in but it's going to be more about being kind and being gentle to your own body to your own mind and to your own heart to your own self a lot of times we can be our worst critic but not today not today all right, so here we are, laying down. You'll notice my legs are bent. Some days I prefer my legs bent. Some days I like them stretched out. What's important is I want you to decide what feels best. And whatever that is, accept it, embrace it. If that's having a pillow underneath you, it's having blocks underneath you, it doesn't matter. Again, just do what feels best for you. And this less being more idea, we're embodying it here. All right, so to start in that comfortable position whenever you decide to get all the excess shifting and moving out of the body let the conscious mind feel like it just controlled that situation and then relax your arms relax relax palms facing up if you need a little bit more grounded energy maybe palms facing down uplifting palms facing up it doesn't matter you decide and then begin a few deeper inhales and exhales yes again signaling to the body everything's all right you know what's coming up, we're checking in to turn in. And as a way to do that over the years, hands to heart, for me, works the best. But again, you decide. Three breaths. Make that a kind of ocean sound breath, that ujjayi breath as it's called. Constricting the throat, one more. Okay, gotta take a deep breath in now. Outstretch the arms, stretch the legs. And as you breathe out, draw the knees into the chest. Now again, I like to have hands on tops of the knees. You might like to wrap the arms around each other. For me, this works best and I'm just going in circles, little circles. You may be bigger, you may be smaller. Legs may be together, they may be apart, but I'm just small to medium circles. The lower back, again, the idea of healing, of saying, hey, lower back, you do a lot for me right now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and express my gratitude through awareness. Switch directions. Maybe that circle turns into a side to side. Yeah, like right now, this for me, right here, side to side, ooh, yeah, yeah. In fact, we get back to center, let the feet land, and that side to side, arms outstretched to the side, just turns into windshield wiping the legs. Side to side. It might be really minimal, right? The movement here, it might be super small like this. It could be just even this, but for some, maybe like this. Breathing the entire time in with the good energy, positive emotions, positive thoughts, positive memories, positive everything. Back and forth. And then just slowing it down naturally. I'm not coming to any abrupt stops. Slow, 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 slow. And I'm going to end up on the right side, just letting the legs fall. Just fall and I rest the arms. My hands, I like to rest them on the body, right? You might like to have them outstretched. They may be above your head. They may be anywhere. Again, what feels best? Go there. One more breath here. You can do this any time of your day, especially when it's feeling a little bit of feeling of overwhelm. And switching sides. I'm gonna take, I like to take the gaze in the opposite direction, but again, if that might be too much, you just turn the head the opposite way. Again, this is about as much of a healing as it is discovery. And you might find, even if you're doing this first thing in the morning, that there's a sense of like extreme calm. It's a beautiful thing, especially if you are not used to it or do not practice this a lot. Good, come back to center with the legs on an inhale. 
outstretch both on an exhale. And we're gonna take the left knee, draw it in. And again, you may decide to bend the right leg as you do here, maybe not. I'm gonna pretend like I'm kicking through my right heel while drawing the left knee in towards the chest, breathing in. And then pulling the knee in, breathing out. I back off on the inhale. And then I draw in. I back off. And I draw in. And I switch. Inhale. Drawing in. Backing off. Drawing in. Backing off. Drawing in. Good. And then out stretching both legs. Big breath in. Bend the legs as you breathe out. Feet are flat. I'm going to take an inhale from here. Relax the upper body and arms as I breathe out. Inhale, press the hips up, pressing down evenly through the feet. And then lowering the hips down on the exhale. Inhale, hips coming up. Exhale, they lower down. And think of imaginary blocks squeezing between your inner thighs. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Now the arms are getting involved. Inhale, hips lift, and the arms lift above the head. Time it out. And exhale, arms down, hips down. So you find the motion that works for you. Inhale. Exhale. Feels a little awkward at first, it's okay. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. In, out. One more time. In, and out. Good. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh and either decide, you know what, right here is great today or I'm going to take a breath in. And as I breathe out, I draw hands interlaced behind this left thigh and I draw the knee towards me. Inhale, I release some. Exhale, I draw in. I want to push down evenly through the hips into the floor. Inhale, releasing. Exhale, drawing in. It's a great stretch for this outer hip here all day. With as much sitting down as we do, especially now, a beautiful stretch. One more. And letting go. And we switch sides. And drawing in. If you find yourself really drawing in and head lifted, just let the head rest. Relaxing. Always on the exhale, perhaps drawing in a little bit or maybe a lot. Two more breaths. Focus on the area you feel the most sensation. One more. Good, release this side. And what I'm gonna do with the feet wide is let the knees just drop in for a moment. Knees drop in. One hand on your belly, one hand across your heart. Let's go left hand across the heart, right hand on your belly. Eyes open or closed, but you're breathing into your hands. Focus on just breathing into the hands. Now just inch the feet back towards one another, the knees open wide. Now I'm gonna take the right leg and I'm gonna cross it over the left. So now they're crossing. I'm gonna slide the hips over to the right, allow the legs to fall a little bit or a lot to the left. And then again, the arms can open up. I can keep my hands where they were and just again, breathe into the hands. No tension. Eyes open or close. Be really gentle with yourself here. All right, come back to center. No rush as you switch. Hips slide to the left and then allow those legs to fall. 
Again, notice I'm not rushing this. One more breath. Great for the mobility of the spine. Let's come back to center. And as you breathe in, draw the knees in. Maybe draw the nose up between the knees. Arms wrapped around. This is good for me today. Take a deep breath in as you squeeze. And releasing everything as you breathe out. Outstretched like a starfish here and just close your eyes. Again, if you're like me, maybe you place hand under the heart, hand under the belly. And you just focus for three breaths on those places. Completely relaxed. No mind, no force. You're giving yourself a gift of just being. Not needing to do, not needing... to go anywhere, go right where you need to be. And then you stay exactly as you are where you bring both hands across the center of the chest, thanking yourself for being right here today, for doing the work, albeit perhaps different than what you may have expected or been used to, and sending yourself still all those good vibes, the confidence, the joy, the gratitude, the love. Take a deep breath in together. And let it go on the exhale. And when you're ready to come out, you come out. That is your healing practice. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey everybody, don't forget to like, subscribe, and to sign up for notifications when new videos become available. Thank you so much.